Just what were you thinking? You're being greedy. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, let's get started. Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and this is my big money Bolo video. Items that I sold on eBay for big bucks, high profits. I'm going to tell you where I got the item, what I sold it for, and what I paid for it. And we're going to get started here. This first one, oh my goodness, just wait. All right, so the first item here are these pantyhose. And um, the buyer actually, I, I kind of listed these in groups as I received them. I got them from an estate clean out and my cost of goods was very, very low, um, pennies. And basically at this estate, I'm buying in bulk. So I pay one price for everything and then I haven't even tried to divide it out. So. I have had some really great finds from here and a lot of stuff that's been redonated and it's been a lot of work, but fun work. I love the treasure hunt. Um, they're basically mystery bags. But anyway, these pantyhose, I listed two pair originally and I uh, priced them. I, I can't remember what I priced them at, but they sold within like 10 minutes. So the next set I priced higher. And it was when I was on vacation, so I didn't get, um, I didn't respond to the offer. And then they just bought them full price when I priced them higher. So then when I got home from vacation, I listed the rest of them. And I still have some left. Nine of these, two of these, two of these, this pair, which I, I it was on auction for $44.99 and they offered me $27 and I'm like, they're buying all of these. I'm just going to go ahead and take the $27 for this as well. Three pair of these, two pair of these. All right. So that was it on the pantyhose. I don't know how many pair that ended up being. Um, I think 19 pair for a total of $516 in pantyhose. So when they made the offer the first time, this is really bad, but um, I declined them because I was like, I think I'm underselling them. But, um, and these are, uh, oh, they are stockings. They are not full length up to the waist pantyhose. They're, I, I don't know if they're knee highs. I think they're knee highs. Is that what they're called? Stockings. So, um, yeah. I, and then I thought about it and I was like, you know, they're buying all of them. I should do the $27, take it and just, so I messaged them and I'm like, I will do the $27 piece. They came back and um, went ahead and made me offer. So I could have messed up there, but, um, and I'm being vulnerable and telling you guys that story because some of you are going to be like, why didn't you just take the $27? What were you thinking? You're being greedy. and yeah, maybe I was being a little bit like I wanted to get the most profit for my item. But yeah, I, I should have just taken the 27 the first time they sent the offer. So lesson learned. Don't be like me. OK. The next item is this vintage Lottie Da uh, clothing. These are like, um, what do you call it? Paper dolls, but they're cloth. <laughs> I could not think of it. And they go on a certain doll. and. I picked these up at a garage sale for a dollar each and I lotted them up. And the funny thing is, is I run a 35% off sale typically, 35 to 38%, sometimes only 30, but my sale had ended. There is usually a small gap in time when my sale, there's no sale going. And then sometimes I forget to create the other sale. This just happened to fall into that. I had no sale going on. And they paid full asking price of $75 plus shipping for this. I got the cha-ching and I looked and I'm like, what? And I was like, oh my goodness, my sale is not on. They paid full price. So that was super exciting. Um, but yeah, has that ever happened to anyone where you get like a full price um, buy when your sale's not on? Incredible. Okay, here is another pair, which is why you're going to see 
I was countering at 35 on the other pantyhose, okay? Because these can go for big money. But again, when they're buying that many pairs, I should have just on taken the 27 in the first place. Okay. This pair actually sold for uh, $45. Um, I think I pulled up the wrong one because I've sold two pair of these. Um, one for 45 and one for a best offer of 40 so um, you're seeing the current listed price because I still have one pair available. So 45 bucks for these. I believe this one went internationally. This came from, I believe that same estate sale. Either that, yeah, I think it was the same estate sale. So these are first quality sheer to the waist pantyhose. These are actually pantyhose. The next item here, oh my goodness, this poster. Oh. I have had this forever. Um, I picked it up at a garage sale. I'm not even sure what I paid for it. I want to say $10. And um, I did a video of how I packaged it. I used like pool noodles and then put it in a box. But it was taking forever to sell. And I'm like, this is a really cool piece. Like, what's the deal? And I went in and I added Jane Mansfield to the title. And once I did that, I got an offer pretty quickly. I ended up taking a best offer of $72 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $132.63 on this. So sometimes those keywords in the title, I do believe that going in and tweaking your titles on these types of items could be beneficial. I don't do it because I don't have time. But for some reason, this one popped up and I'm like, I'm going to try that. And it actually worked. So just a little tip there. Okay, this pair sold for 40. And again, I have one left. All right, so this is a vintage 1993 Accents Unlimited Santa with animals ready to paint crafters. I picked these up in a thrift store mystery box and I have a whole bunch of these listed, different styles. I thought these were gonna fly out of my store because they are incredible. And people that do art and um, I ready to paint type items that are vintage are harder to find. And really, they're just sitting, they're not moving. This is, I think, the first one I've sold. I did sell it for $45.50. This is one of the bigger ones. So if for those of you that are crafters, if I'm missing a keyword in my title, please let me know. Um, maybe I just need to tweak my titles. But uh, that was, I probably had a dollar or less than that. And the buyer was all in for $70.57 for that because it's pretty big. The next item is this vintage Martha's miniatures full circle dress. This has been sitting in my basement, in my money pile, in a bag of baby clothes for like years, probably two or three years. And I'm like, I am going to go and I'm going to look through there and I'm going to list a couple things. So I did end up listing this dress and it sold on, nope, not auction. It sold really fast after I put it on a buy it now or best offer. I ended up taking a best offer of $78 plus shipping. The buyer was all in for $90.63. This came from a church sale. And I, I want to say I paid like $10 for the entire bag. It was just a bag full. And um, I don't even know if I knew what full circle was then. I just knew that they were vintage baby dresses. I think I did. But I, I obviously didn't have any urgency to list this because I just threw it in my basement. But, you know, we do that. My money pile is huge. This is an Insco, a nativity pageant, uh, four-piece set of memories of yesterday. It's from 1994. And I did pay up for this at a garage sale. I paid $10 for it. And that is because I looked up comps and they were pretty good. I did end up taking a best offer of $40 plus shipping on this. Okay. The next item is this Daisy Kingdom 44 by 181 fabric. I hate listing fabric because I hate measuring fabric. And I don't know how many yards this is. So I don't know how to put, oh, this is six yards or two yards. I don't know how to do it. So um, <laughs> I just put the measurements in there and hoped for the best. And I ended up selling this on auction for $99.99. The reason I listed this is because of my video that I did on vintage fabric. And I knew that Daisy Kingdom is a bolo. Now, this one in particular is just a floral design. It's not one of the special ones, but it's a pretty big piece. But the part that gets better is I had two other huge pieces like this. Another one sold for $99.99 on auction. And I was like, okay, both those sold on a seven-day auction. I'm just going to put the last one on a buy it now and price it high. 
you guys, I sold it for 150 on buy it now. So I may have undersold these. I do have one small piece left. And these came from an estate sale in bags and bags and bags of fabric that I got. Um, I still have some listed in bulk on, I think I put it on eBay. So there is some um, crafters lots available. If anybody's interested, you can make me an offer. Um, if you make me an offer on something, my eBay store is linked down below. Always put Bolo Buddies in the comments so that I know that you're um, a viewer of my channel. I'll definitely work with you on prices. Vintage ceramic or glass. I'm not sure what they are, but these are um, vegetables. I always pick up fruit and vegetables like the stone, but these were really cool. Um, not big on breakables. I don't like shipping them, but I had to pick these up. I got these at a garage sale for $2 and I sold them for $39 plus shipping and they were kind of a long tail item. These colored pencils I got at an estate sale. I paid about a dollar for them. They are vintage bar barrel Prismacolor thick lead color art pencils and it was incomplete and this sold on auction for $149.99 plus shipping. This wreath. Um, I got this at a garage sale for a buck. I just thought it was kind of cool. I It's motion activated and the eyes flash and it makes sound i think if i remember correctly and i sold this for 39 dollars. the buyer was all in for 51.75 on that the next item is this texas instruments ti 84 plus graphing calculator this is in one of my garage sale videos the barbie garage sale video you remember that one when i scored those amazing um boxes of barbies there's a, a video you should check you should definitely check that one out I sold this calculator for $57 and 85 cents uh, plus shipping. And I got that at a garage sale for five. These right here came out of a Christmas mystery box from the thrift store. They are vintage. Um, they're like angels. And I think the one holds a candle, but there's three of them. I ended up taking a best offer of $45 on these and the buyer was all in for 60, 47. Okay. Here's the other one I sold for $99 and 99 cents. And I think the other one is in another video because it sold um, afterwards, later. Max Force Shadow Hawk Gun. This was very, very long tail. I think this one went internationally. I picked this up at a garage sale quite a while ago. Um, I did price it high because there weren't a lot of comparables. Uh, if I would have priced it lower, I think it would have sold quicker, but I kept the price high. And I sold it for full asking price of $97.49 plus shipping. My cost of goods was around $3. This here is a rare, I don't use the word rare, rare very much. I think I um, did sell similar and forgot to take that out because I use hard to find HTF. But is it a dragon? It's a large dragon, folk monist puppet. This guy is really big, um, 24 inches from head to end of tail. And I got this at the Goodwill, actually. I paid $5 for it, and it sold for full asking sale price of $55.25 plus shipping. The next item is this witch, and I did feature this on the This Is My Bolo video, where I have all of the reseller YouTubers and eBay stores that are members of my channel. They come together, and they share a bolo with you. If you guys have not seen those videos, they are incredible, because you get to see 60-second clips of big money bolos brought to you by different people, not just me. It's awesome. Um, so go check those out. I probably have five or six now. It's a series I do on my channel, but I got this witch at a garage sale for $2, took best offer of $85 plus shipping on her. Let me show you this here view. And um, she's like that fabric mache. I did not expect that she would go for that much. And, you know, vintage Halloween is definitely just incredible. I did wait. Um, I priced it high and I waited on the right buyer. Here's another kind of almost full circle dress. Um, I got this at a garage sale for $3. I was actually out garage sailing with my husband and uh, he was actually looking at the rack and I saw him. I don't know why he was looking at the rack because it, I, I don't know, it was weird, but I was like, I think he pointed it out to me. Like, this is a vintage dress. And I'm like, whoa. Uh, so I went ahead and grabbed that for three bucks and I sold that for $65 plus shipping. It is not a complete full circle. So um, it probably would have went for more if it would have been. It is um, sheer. So I did use that in my title. It, it is really cute. It did have a little stain on it as well. Merry Girl is the brand party dress. And that one was a size eight. So uh, not a toddler dress. 
The next item here is this vintage flocked dotted Swiss dot fabric. And this smelled like mothballs. So I went ahead and just priced it and hoped for the best because I figured somebody can wash it. I'm sure there's a way to get that smell out. And it was a really nice big piece of fabric. I ended up selling this for um, a best offer of $45 plus shipping. My cost of goods was free. This was thrown in because it smelled like mothballs. So, And the last item came from an estate sale. Um, it was in a bag of clothes. Uh, most of the clothes got donated, but this UB40 single stitch tee was a keeper. It was dated 1988, and I sold this for $130 plus shipping. So... All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. Um, check out some of those other videos I mentioned. I've got tons and tons of um, Bolo videos. That's what my channel is all about. I also have videos about items not to buy, items that you should not be listing on eBay. Um, I think most of them are titled, Don't Sell These Items on eBay, Vero. Um, basically I invite my Facebook members to share things that have been removed from eBay or got them suspended. And then I create a video. So these are current events happening on eBay, things that are being removed right now. There is a Vero list. You can definitely check that out. But if you want to know the things that are being pulled in current time, those are great videos. Thank you guys. Uh, leave me an emoji of a hat or just write the word hat. Um, and thanks for watching. See you at the next one.